Did you know that by 2050, we'll have only about half of our current snowpack? The loss of snowpack negatively affects Oregon in terms of water supply, ecosystem function, crop productivity, forest fire danger, and human health. When I think about climate change, I think about the drought that occurred in Crook County and throughout Oregon this past year. I think about how drought conditions are increasing the likelihood of wildfires, and I think about how these wildfires are affecting our air quality. Poor air quality aggravates cardiovascular and respiratory diseases, it triggers asthma attacks, and can have a long-term effect on lung function, especially among children. Making sure that we have clean air to breathe is an important way that we can protect our community's health, but with climate change, it can be an uphill battle. Thankfully, we're not the only ones working on it. Partners in all sectors and community members of all walks of life are coming together to improve our systems and prepare for the future. When we were working on our climate and health plan back in 2012, a main concern was the lack of our organized community effort around climate change issues here in Crook County. We realized that one of the first steps was to bring diverse groups together to share their ideas on climate change and for us to learn about the current efforts already underway in our community. One effort that followed our planning was the development of a work group through the city of Prineville and they now have a new air quality action plan. So we've been working on our air quality um, with our partners, um, a number of different agencies, DEQ, the EPA has come forward with some um, information that, about our air quality, which is uh, what we're trying to use to gauge uh, our program. And of course, we're working with our health department. It's been an interagency collaboration for about a year and a half, maybe almost two years. Um, and, and we believe our air quality is improved. Our numbers are showing that we uh, our air quality is improved. We, of course, have a monitor uh, here in town from the DEQ and one from the EPA, and we track our air quality numbers. Uh, the monitors um, track how much particulate there is in the air, and about 98% of the time our air quality is pretty good. There's a few days of the year when it's... Uh, it'll exceed the uh, national air quality standard and our current program seems to be uh, managing um, those numbers pretty well. There is a lot to do, but when we join together with partners, we can have a tremendous collective impact. One of the first steps we can take on climate change is to get involved, whether it be attending meetings, asking questions, or exploring the intersection with our current work. It's so critical that we think about our future and our children's future. The changes are happening as we speak, and it should be a call to action.